We do tend to banter quite a bit on the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. My stars. Humma mama. I can't get over this guy. That's, that's me putting myself into her mind. That was highly disturbing. I didn't like it. So. I just think if I were a woman in the 40s or 50s, mm. and you meet a you meet a, a professional ballroom dancer, yeah, I mean, you're gonna be swept off your feet. But he's pro- maybe quite literally if all goes well. Oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, sure, I get it. He, the family was saying that he uh, he was in love with her though, not the other way around. Oh, so I'm so I'm a professional ballroom dancer. Okay, no, please don't do this again. No, no, please don't do this again. All right, okay. The brothers were serving time for robbing a bank together. I wouldn't mind being in a in a jail cell with my bro. Yeah, the thing is, like, being in prison, obviously not ideal. Yeah. But you got your bro there with you, you, and they actually were next door to each other. That's very fun. That's very fun. Yeah. That's a big bonding moment. I wonder if one of them got the letter, like, ooh, where are you going? And he was like, <laughs> like I'm it's... going to Alcatraz. And he was like, me too! <laughs> and they just jump up and Yay! down. <laughs> like they got accepted to college together. Oh, hey, Christopher, long time no see. Oh, whoa, Alice. Yeah, uh, yeah, they had me up on the Lido deck. Lifeguard duty. <laughs> Not what I signed up for, but somebody's got to keep an eye on those pickles. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Uh, anyway, I, uh... <laughs> too... <laughs> like like a real laugh? Let's say, like, I just told a bad joke. And okay. you're giving me a pity laugh, but you needed to to come off as as genuine. Okay. How? Okay. So I'll just say. Uh, At least give me a fake punchline. Um, what did Mark Twain name his son? I don't know. Choo Choo Twain. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Man, I just, I just can't help it. Sometimes I'm too funny. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who would name their son Choo Choo? Mark. Mark would. Marky boy. If someone were going to whack me mm-hmm. and I saw you in the car, I'd go, well, obviously everything's okay. Shane's Come in the car. Come on in. <laughs> I'm just going around the block. <laughs> Come on in, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on in. Okay, I'm never getting into a car with Get you ever again. Car. Get the car. Part of the creative process is uh, teamwork. Yeah. And you know, uh, being a team player. Yeah. Yeah, so for this case. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I do, yeah. What is this voice you're doing right now? No, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Let's take it back to Grabtown. I imagine it's not like that. No, probably not. No, it's probably a little bit more uh, Or like the discreet. ooze from Turtles 2. Don't think it's like that either. I think it's a little more discreet. Otherwise, he would have been like, oh, this tea looks a little odd. This tea looks like ooze. It's also neon, so maybe we shouldn't drink it. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, ooze long tea? <laughs> okay, you can keep going. <laughs> I don't think you're done laughing at your own joke. You want some more time? No, Do you need some ooze long tea yourself? <laughs> So stupid. You have funny when you say it. <laughs> Dumb. All right, well. You didn't poison this, did you? I wish I did now. Ooh. This jigsaw puzzle doesn't fit. It's way fit. It's whack. It's wacky. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like. Yeah, what are you trying to say? It's wacky. I don't know why I said it like Chris Walken. It's, it's wacky. wacky. It's wacky. <laughs> uh, the puzzle doesn't fit. No. Wacky. Ow. <laughs> wow, stranded in the, in the courtroom. They found out, you know, he's uh, digging up dirt on us. Yeah. Yeah, snip, snip. Cut off the loose ends. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like talking about cutting off his, his pen- testicles. His penis? <laughs> there was penis here. I don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, no. Th- those were intact when they found him. As far as I know, yes, his penis was still on his person. Okay. Otherwise, they probably would have mentioned that. Also, his penis. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't have mentioned he had no penis. Penis check. Has anything paranormal happened to you when you come with us to these uh, locations? No. Okay. Well, you did throw up on a tree because of the because demons of in the I Sally ate house. Bad chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had food it's poisoning. Definitely demons. I'd like to live. Um, I'm sure you would. Forever. Okay, I, no, that's not gonna happen. You've never wanted to just see the like the universe just... Implode? Yeah. No, because I'm not really an anarchist. I'm You're just there. No, it's not even anarchy because it's not even disorder. It's just nothing. You know what? Give your babies tattoos. I think that's the solution here. Property of the Dunbar. No, not property. Just like um. Also, I was just thinking of a baby actually at a tattoo parlor with like a backwards cap, and sunglasses on, like a toothpick in his mouth, just yeah, fucking tatted up. Let's bring a show us tatted baby. 
<laughs> Let's see, tatted baby. Sir. Uh, <laughs> he's good. What's up, nerds? <laughs> Here to get a tat. And after I've had enough island getaway time, I'm like, all right, cat, fire it up. I'm ready to all go. All he home. ever did was crash a plane, though. I'm sure he could uncrash a plane. I'm, like, I'm a little under the weather. My brain's not working that well right now. Uncrash a plane. <laughs> all right, folks, in about 10 minutes, we We're should gonna, be uncrashing uh, this plane. Yeah. <laughs> Runway looking clear, clear sky, about ready to uncrash. Ronald was questioned by the police for a grueling 13 hours in which he provided a 3,000 word statement that the police would describe as, quote, fantastic, end quote. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. I found that very funny, too. <laughs> Great statement. We all were blown away. What a just performance. Imagine the cops reading it and just finally putting it down like, fantastic. I'm sad it's over. Good read. Wish I could read it all over again. Yeah. Good job, sir. You're free. You ever thought about doing some sci-fi? Yeah. <laughs> you signed the back of this? <laughs> Is your dad a, a liar? Mmm. Quite likely. I mean, most people are liars. Oh. Like you. What, what am I lying about? I don't know. You're good at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, this case is quite famous in Canada. That probably would be worth a lot. Oh, yeah, this is Canada, right? Yeah. Oh, that paints this in a whole new light for me. Does it? Yeah, they're very, uh, obviously the stereotype is that they're very, they're very polite people. Yeah, peaceful. So this is very funny to me now. Oh, you're just imagining it it's kind like, of like, oh, geez. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. no, he bonked on the head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the dang cottage burned down. Oh, oh no, no. Jackie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jackie. This season is, it's gonna be a doozy. Okay, it won't. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Big name. Yeah, everyone knows Jimmy. I don't think a lot of people know what happened to Jimmy, but they know of Jimmy. Well, I don't think many people know what happened to him. Nobody knows what happened to Jimmy. <laughs> Technically, he disappeared. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's, that's the, that's why, that's why, the show. That's why we're in the office, right? <laughs> well, why don't we learn about it? Should we? Yeah. Okay. Here he is, the biggest douche of the universe. In all the galaxies, there's no bigger douche than you. You've reached the top, the pinnacle of douchedom. Good going, douche. Your dreams have come true. Wouldn't that be just a hilarious side effect of this show? If the, from now on, people just start tweeting pictures of us of scientists that are like fucking jacked. Yeah. Like just rips. Like I'm a scientist. You think I couldn't make it past shore? And he's like flexing. Yeah. No, I don't think you could have. Even if you got muscles, you're still a dork. You're still a dork on the inside. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I love DNA and RNA. Well, you've never heard of that <laughs> other one? It's different. Pick those weights up, put them back down as much as you like. Ain't gonna cover the fact that you're a nerd. Yeah. Well, most of those muscles are probably from lugging all your stupid you textbooks books. Books around. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't book me. He's doing 300 page curls. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look okay, at real buff. Intellectual yeah. curiosity is important, and you should uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I know how those guys operate. They just kind of cross their arms and... Didn't that, but... It's good De Niro face. Didn't it? <laughs> the alpha radiation that polonium emits is powerful, but has a tiny range. <laughs> Can't even <laughs> penetrate human skin. <laughs> when Julia Anderson met the boy, he did not react well to her, much like he had originally acted with Leslie Dunbar though he may still have been reeling from the many sudden changes in his life, including the fact that in his beautiful new home, he had just been given a pony and a bicycle. What are you talking about? He got a pony and a bike? <laughs> what? I have video of Ryan watching the uh, the musical from last season, and you can see the smile on his face. No, you don't. I do. That doesn't exist. Roll the clip. <laughs> well, do you believe in ghosts, first off? I uh, know. Okay. Next. But there, there, it would be a fruitless effort to kill us. You're not, you're not, you're not preventing anything. There's no follow-up. There's no follow-up. Unless they kill us before the post-mortem. Then you're just going to be drawing more attention to Invented, yourself. You'll be preventing the hot dog at its next installment, which, oh no. It made it into the main show. Nope, we did it. Cut that yes. out. Cut nope. that out. Keep cut it in. No, Keep cut it that in. out. Cut that out. I'm Keep serious. Cut that out. That Keep cannot, it in. I'm serious. There is a sanctuary nope. that is the main episode. It's infected it, and, and that's you fine. Cannot, you cannot that's corrupt fine. it. Okay, we're gonna cut that out. Continue. But this is one yes. of the few cases where I think I could say that's not it. You can make certain claims quite confidently. Yeah. And I mean, look how confident he is with his popped collar. 
Put some sunglasses on me and post, yeah, just, please. Just had them drop down. <laughs> oh my God. And he claimed the body was there because he was storing it as a quote, favor for a friend, end quote. Big favor. <laughs> big That's favor. That's a big ask. Yeah, I don't think I could call any of my friends and be like, hey man, remember that time I helped you move that couch? Yeah. Gonna call one in. <laughs> this is kind of like that, except instead of a couch, it's a dead person. Got any other things you need me to cook around here? What? Why did you say that in such a threatening tone? <laughs> you got any other things you need me to cook around here? It was more like a, you easy, got you, anything else you need me to you do? You glowered at her. You're saying it like Kylo Ren right now. I did not say it like Kylo Ren. You're even doing Kylo Ren mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Put your hands together for the most dazzling show in all the galaxy. How dare you start that with the <clears throat> Disneyland cadence? The How dare you? The Station Space Buffet Pasta Parade. Music fills the air as the first. I as can't the believe first it. pasta float makes its way down the promenade. I can't believe Atop you've done the float this. is. You know you can point at it with your finger just as effectively. No, but see. Oh well, now who well, looks like an asshole? Me. Um. I'm just, I'm just free flowing, man. I'm yeah. just like a, a delicate little lily floating in a gentle lily pond. Just floating around. What does that mean? I'm just floating around, baby. I'm floating. Like this. This is weird. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Ladies doing this. Ladies and gentlemen. Hoffa's son has said that when he asked O'Brien if he was involved in his father's disappearance, O'Brien quickly fled the room. Good poker face. <laughs> Woo! I don't like that question, see you later. <laughs> when people have a horse or a pony and they just sort of casually like, you know? <laughs> and they, they, they always do it like, come on, and the pony just like, they just make inaudible noises and click. God, I'd love a horse. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet us. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, okay? William C. Walters, the man whom the boy was taken from, was insistent that the boy was not Bobby Dunbar, but in fact, Bruce Anderson. That's a fake name. That's not a real name. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Anderson. Bruce Anderson does seem like a name you would make up if you were like pressed in the moment. Mm -hmm. Bruce Anderson. I don't, I don't have any uh, info on his cadence either. Like if they're like, what's his name? Uh, uh, Br Br Brick Brown Bruce <laughs> Anderson. Uh, that's my, my, that? my, my, my. What was that? I am and What was that? What was that? You say that again? Bruce Anderson. I'm so confused. How could a mom not know for certain that a kid is her kid or not? Why did she not realize it until bath time? I could pick my cat out of a lineup at like 50 yards. Well, good for you, Louise. <laughs> With your cats. Apparently this is where a recurring ghost is seen. Oh, ah, oh God! I what are you? Cut. Hey, man, calm down. You piece of shit, Shane. My mic went out, and then I was looking for you. He's crouching in here like some kind of cave creature. It's treasure hunting day. I feel kind of stupid. But right, you ready to go? I got one last piece here. <sighs> Dress for the job you want, right? <laughs> yeah. I know it might sound crazy, but believe me, Maisie, you'll be fine without me. French fries gonna take his bow in this hot dogger. 